Hi, my name is Kate Schatz, and I am the author of Rad Girls Can. I think a rad girl is someone who is not afraid to take risks, uh, no matter what obstacles life puts in her way. A rad girl has something she really believes in, something she loves, a passion or a desire, something she wants to do or be, and she goes after it. Uh, again, no matter who's trying to stop her, what people say, she's going to try to make it happen. For this book, we decided to focus on young women and girls because they asked us to make this book. We share our books with young people all over the country, and the request that we get the most has been for a book about girls, about people their own age. Our other books focus on women from history who've done amazing, remarkable things, and I think our readers are really inspired by them, but they also wanted to read stories about people like them, their own age. and. As we know, young people have been at the forefront of innovation, of social change, of activist movements um, for an incredibly long amount of time. So it felt especially powerful to celebrate the contributions of young women and girls uh, with this book. Making socially relevant work is important to me because I think that storytelling is one of our most potent and powerful forms of activism. Um, I've been an activist since a young age. I've also been a writer since a young age. And those two things have always been connected for me. I've never seen them as, as separate interests. They've always been totally aligned. And I think that as long as I have the privilege and honor to be creating books, especially for young readers, uh, they're going to be socially relevant because I have a vision for a world that is just and peaceful and equitable, and that's not the world we live in now. So uh, to be able to create books that, that envision that and talk about how we might get there uh, is absolutely one of what I want to be doing. It's really hard to narrow it down, but I'm going to have to go with Judy Bloom because not only did she write the books that I loved so much as a child, but she really dedicated herself to telling young people stories that a lot of other people didn't think she should be telling, uh, that society didn't think she should be telling. Uh, she wrote about bodies and sexuality, she wrote about divorce, she wrote about bullying, she wrote about the complications of being a young person in a way that was really, really honest uh, and pretty groundbreaking. Another one where it's so hard for me to choose, but I'm going to say Charlotte's Web, the classic by E.B. White. I love that book so much, I can't even tell you how many times I read it. And I love it so much that I got a big tattoo on my arm. Um, it says Radiant in a Spider Web, and that's from when Charlotte wrote Radiant in the Web for Wilbur. And I've always loved that moment in the book so much, and all of those moments where Charlotte just shows the reader what it means to be a good friend and a good ally, and the way that she just celebrates Wilbur and stands up for him has just always impacted me.